first person to ever camp inside of a Tesla Cybertruck. I am tired. We got up at 4.30 a.m. <laughs> Not a great idea. 1.36 a.m. This is the Tesla Cybertruck. There's less than probably a thousand that are in the entire world right now. I have my hands on one for just a couple of days. Thanks to my friend Zach for Jerry Rig Everything. He rented this for a couple of weeks and he's like, hey, if you want to take it for a couple of days, go for it. So we just did a 13 or 14 or 15 hour, I don't know, it's been a super long day. I guess this day started at four in the morning in Los Angeles and now I'm in Draper, Utah and it's one in the morning. So do the math on that. I am tired. So with my Tesla Model S at this this point of the day when I'm super tired, I take out my mattress and I put my mattress in the trunk, I get some blankets and I go to sleep. Especially if I'm on the road and I only have a few hours that I wanna sleep. It just saves me a couple hundred dollars versus just getting a hotel. You can do this in the Model Y, you can do this in the Model X if you have the right seats. You can also do this in the Model 3, but it's a little bit tight. The car that you can't do it in is my Tesla Roadster. That thing is super tiny. So can you sleep inside of the Tesla? Elon said that he would allow camping mode, but here, watch this. The truck bed is covered. You would think, you know, this would be a great place. So let's open this thing up. Look at that, opens nicely. It seems like it's pretty weatherproof. You've got these LED lights down in here, but that window does not open and neither does this section right here. So you have this bed, but there's no way to put it in camping mode. You could sleep in there, but it's just like regular camping. It's gonna be cold. It might be wet. I don't really feel like really camping. I like it to be 72 degrees. Here's the other option that I'm thinking about. This door opens 90 degrees, kind of cool. And then inside of here, you have the back seats, but the back seats somehow go up. Somehow. I don't know how it goes in. I think you pull on something or you push on something. What's this? Oh, there it is. It's this lever. Okay. Okay, that one's locked into place. Hold on it. This is the space right there. Could I maybe sleep right here this way? I'm six foot two. I don't know if I can fit that way. This is enabled with camp mode, but I don't know if I can sleep here. Let's do a little lay down test first. Here's the screen on the Cybertruck. It has a really cool display right here. I really like the functionality. I like all the things that you can do with it. it has some funny little Easter eggs right here. You've got camp mode. Car will stay on until battery reaches 20%. Sentry mode, security alarm, and walkaway lock will be disabled. You put it on and then boom, the lights will turn off. You can choose the air, the temperature that you want in here, and it's gonna stay that temperature all night until the battery reaches 20%. I am charging a supercharger right now. We have 296 miles, which if you hold this down, we have 93%. This is a 124 kilowatt hour battery, so that is a lot. It is 33 degrees right now. It is supposed to snow some more tonight, maybe two or three inches. If we put the air at 72 degrees throughout the night, obviously that's gonna take some energy also. This is kinda cool and it shows you how the steer by wire thing works. The car is completely turned off right now. And look at that. This isn't broken, it's just there's a wire and there's a bunch of super smart things that make this thing run. I am tired. Just to verify, just to show you, oh, it's 37 degrees down. It is 12.58 a.m. We got up at 4.30 a.m. That's insane. I am beat up. All right, can I fit down there? Let's check it out. All right, here we go. Ah, climbing in. All right, let's see. Oh. <laughs> this is not a great idea. This is as far as I can go. My knees are like that, and my head is actually on this. So if I lay all the way down, if I curl up. Oh, I'm so tired, this actually could work. Wow, this has been a long week. I just finished CES. I've been gone for seven days. This is how I would sleep. No stretching out, sleeping against this. If I lay on my back, it's like that. This is glass, so as soon as the sun comes up, I will be seeing the sun. And the windows, I don't have any shades for it. I don't have any covers. You know what? Let's do this. First person to ever camp inside of a Tesla Cybertruck. I'm gonna be the one. We're gonna do it tonight. We are at 96%, which is... 306 miles range. That's a lot of battery. I don't wanna just be out here in the public. It's really loud, people are playing music. I'm gonna go park in a friend's backyard. And I did borrow some sleeping bags from another friend. Let's go find his friend's house. It's about 12, 14, 18 minutes away from here. 18 minutes, let's roll. And this is it. We made it to my friend's house. This is where we're gonna sleep. Now what's interesting, right here, if you look at that ladder going into the ground, doesn't look like much, but underneath here, 
is an underground bunker. This is my buddy Zach from Jerry Rig Everything. This is his house, Simon Cambry, and he said that I could stay at his house tonight. He said I could stay inside the house or in the bunker, but I opted for this thing. Don't be deceived. It looks super bright out here. It's just the camera. The camera is really good. All right, we gotta set up our bed. Things I do at 43 years old, sleeping inside of a Tesla Cybertruck. I think I'm the first, I'm probably the first. I might not be the first. I bet I'm the first. First thing we're gonna do is lay down our base sleeping bag. This is going to give us comfort, softness. This is essentially our mattress. It's as good as it gonna get. It's actually a really solid looking base. That looks cozy. Now we take our pillow, throw it in there, and then another sleeping bag. There's the pillow, there's the inside. Now I gotta get in without getting my wet shoes in there. Oh, shoe off, put it in here. Another shoe off. Also put it in there, stay in there. To the guy that rented us this for two weeks, thank you for letting us have this opportunity. We will return it clean. I'm sleeping in here one night, but it'll be clean. <laughs> this is so weird. All right, we need to go to here. Camp mode, let's keep it at 70. So that's gonna blow like that. We are at 88 battery, 88 percentage, and 281 miles. It is 136 a.m. 37 degrees. We are now on camp mode. I'm really gonna do this. I'm talking myself into it, guys, that's all. Couple of things, I'm in my bed now. This screen is still on. This light LED thing is still on. This is on, but we are on camp mode. I'm surprised that's still on. I can't straighten out my legs all night, but I do feel kind of comfortable. Like, it's not awful, it's not awful. So I will give you a full report. I will not leave this, I am not going to cheat. Good night to you, see you in the morning. It is 9 a.m. I just woke up in the back of a Tesla Cybertruck. There's people out here making snowman and throwing snowballs at each other. I have done it. I've got a full view of blue skies up above and a few clouds going by, but it didn't snow as much as the weatherman said that it would last night. But wow, I did it. I slept inside of the Tesla Cybertruck. The air was blowing just like this all night. Listen to it. Yeah, it really didn't stop blowing. Um, kept a nice 70 degree temperature inside of here. Don't you dare put these feet on OnlyFans. But there were times when I would find myself sleeping. I'd wake up and my legs would be like this, like way up here. I would readjust and then turn like this and sleep like this. And then for about 10 minutes, my whole legs would like tingle because they fell asleep. I don't know how long I was sleeping with my legs up like that. <laughs> it was cutting off the circulation. I slept actually pretty well. It was like 1.30 until nine o'clock. That's very many hours. I'm surprised that I didn't wake up sooner. So the tint on the car actually did its job pretty well. And maybe the clouds were blocking the sun to be completely bright, but the air quality was good. I actually think that it's possible. Is it comfortable? No, it's not ideal, but it does have camping mode. So the temperature stays good. Nobody can really see you back here because you have tint on the windows. And I saved money by not going to a hotel. So, so now it's official. You can only not camp inside of the Tesla Roadster, the original Tesla Roadster. All of the other Teslas, you can sleep inside if you need to. Now I'm gonna wake up and go see the snowman that is getting built on top of the underground bunker. And then also go inside and maybe Zach has some yummy breakfast for me, or at least like some water, because I'm really, really thirsty. <laughs> well, look at that. It is 77%. It was 88% last night before I went to bed. 246 miles. I don't remember what it was. We are at 88 battery, 88 percentage, and 281 miles. Let's say hi to these people. Hello? Hey. Hey, I slept in here all night. Nice. Nice snowman. Yeah. You guys didn't know I was in here? No way. <laughs> That's kind of hilarious. I just wake up and I look out the window and there's a snowman and there's people throwing snowballs at each other. <laughs> I would probably fit though, you're way taller. This is what it looks like, but all the way down. That's the furthest I can stretch my legs right there. So sometimes at night, I found myself with my legs up like this. Oh man. <laughs> this is what it looks like when you wake up in a Tesla. I'm gonna put my shoes and socks on and come out into the world and see what breakfast Zach made for me. Here we go, we're gonna open this thing up and see what happens to all of this snow that's on here. Where's the thing? There's the button, get ready. What a place. It works. You can camp inside of there. 